I haven't been playing many games recently. I've been trying to, but I haven't really been in the right mood for it. When I'm sick of gaming, I usually reach for a book. It's been quite a while since I did a books video, and during the time that's elapsed between now and then, I've been reading the Warhammer fantasy books and trying to find the best ones for necromancy. The first books I'd like to mention are the books that detail Nagash's rise to power. Originally the books were a trilogy, Nagash the Sorcerer, Nagash the Unbroken, and Nagash Immortal. But now you can get all of these books inside one book called The Rise of Nagash. The author is Mike Lee. If you don't know who Nagash is, he's basically the granddaddy of necromancy in the setting, and eventually becomes some kind of necromancy god. The god part isn't so interesting, but Nagash's rise to power is incredible. It's probably the best necromancy story I've read so far. If you're really looking for a story about an incredibly ambitious, cunning, and ruthless necromancer with lots of depravity, I can't recommend these books enough. Nagash is just so evil, and the way he's able to politically maneuver himself is especially impressive. There's so much intrigue. Reading The Rise of Nagash will also benefit you a lot if you play the Total War Warhammer games, because it explains the origins of everything. It explains how the first vampires came to be, as well as how the Tomb Kings became what they are. The second book I'm going to mention is called Rulers of the Dead by Josh Reynolds and David Annandale. It's mostly about Nagash as a god and his underlings Arkan the Black and Neferata. The first half of the book revolves around a clan of humans called Clan Rictus, not to be confused with the Skaven Clan Rictus. This is a separate bunch. These humans worship Nagash and are locked in a bitter war with Nurgle, the Chaos God of Disease. The second half of the book revolves around Neferata and her city. There's a lot of intrigue here and plenty about vampires. If you like vampires, this will be a good read for you. The last book I've got for you today is called Vampire Wars The Von Karstein Trilogy by Stephen Seville. If you're wondering why I say Von Karstein and not Von Karstein, it's basically because I've been living in Germany too long, so I read these German words like a German would read them and say them. I'm not trying to be pretentious, I promise. It's all about the different vampire clans. When you read it, you'll learn about Vlad and Isabella and their relationship, as well as Manfred, and also the necromancers that serve and assist them. If you like the vampires and Warhammer and you want to learn more about them, this is probably the best book to read. It's very good and you really get to witness the truly sadistic and depraved behavior of Warhammer's vampires, as well as all the infighting that occurs between them. That's all I've got for you today. There are many more Warhammer Necromancy books, but I haven't read them yet, so I won't bring them up until I have. I've really enjoyed all of these books though, and I hope you do too if you decide to read them. Thanks for watching. I've got more videos on necromancy stuff coming soon.